pants it up. Let's see what's in these pants. Hmm. Okay. If you say so. Getting a three on turn one is incredible. If I can now find another good minion. Uh, oh my God. I have to win the fight. I have a plan. 3-3 three, three Dwarf. <laughs> hey, I might legitimately go you know, Dwarves for a little bit of time. Not a huge amount of time, but a little bit of time. This could happen. I still feel units here against Drad Sakula, though. Oh my god, especially because he doesn't actually manage to win. Oof. Harsh luck, bud. It's a scaling plan and another three that I have to sell to scaling plan. Giving up four gold. I had threes before, but no direction. Now I have a direction. Couple slays? Not bad. Especially worked against Geppetto. I think I just want to get some chaff on the board. The rare good baby dragon support kill. Yeah. You'll love to see it because it makes up for some of the other times. Not all of them, but some. Creeper would be good here, honestly. It would if I could have taken it. Our health is still competitive right now, but it's not going to be competitive for long, unfortunately. Could get lucky with another giant Tweedle run. I would love to see another giant Tweedle. Supporting it might be a bit difficult. Mmm, no slay for you. Damn it. <gasps> ah, I could have gotten another slay out of that. Feels bad after I sold one, but I think I take both of the threes here. Again, so Peter Pants, you start at level three and you can never grow up. Characters in your shop get plus one, plus one for each time you would have leveled. So obviously you are locked out of late game strategies that involve levels, the units from level four to six, at least reliably, because you can't guarantee you're going to TLK into them. So what you're looking for is a scaling strategy external to leveling. Because uh, you you also can't gain experience fast enough with a brave adventurer or anything like that to get an embiggening stone effectively on board. Uh, so ultimately what you end up wanting to do is find Hatball and the Fork using the Blind Mace to look for uh, four cost treasures. Uh, or Slay. But Slay is harder to get on board. You really need things to go your way quite early. 
because the returns for it are a lot lower. But obviously it only requires bad moon. Can be supplemented by other things though. Oh yes! Slay. Again, I'll get another three. Couple more pairs out here. I think I'm also gonna take the Cinderella and then the spell. So on pace, other people are, I think now one turn behind level three, uh, level four. One of these turns are relatively quick because we just have two things to buy and then go. Uh, okay, let's see how this works. Trying to get the uh, tracker up. What is your current favorite unit in the game? Um, hmm, what am I always most excited to use? It could be Friendly Spirit right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna hedge my bets and say it's friendly spirit right now. Uh, okay, let's give you a random upgrade just in case you triple with something else on the board. You don't, but we do get the increase on the Cinderella. Pick a roll. Another possibility of doing the exact same thing. May as well. I'd love to also then TLK you. That would be incredible. My God. TLK. No, there's a playable for us. Fine. TLK. Come on. I was so certain it was here. Uh, let's get the two cost treasure, I guess. Possibility of more gold as well. When you trigger Slay, you get plus one gold. I guess. <laughs> We're not going to be triggering Slay for that many more rounds. This is going to... Dive. You know what? Wombat's in Disguise. Wombat's in Disguise is my favorite card. Because I can't always use it. But when I use it, I'm always very happy to use it. Galilean, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. Enjoy your remotes and channel. Welcome to the Republic. Slam. Welcome to the slam. A wheel is kind of like a kiss. If you're a road. Please, sir, may I have some triples? My board is so stacked, sir. Thank you. It's got to be fancy pants, unfortunately. Yikes. Don't want to take the chicken anymore as a result of that. I could start working on a polywoggle, but again, I feel kind of behind the eight ball and I don't really want to start investing. Uh, no. Experience, absolutely, absolutely not what we want on this character. That's it. That's exactly what we want. Bad moon. Gameplay online? Real gameplay hours?
This is probably never going to slay. Yeah. Maybe I didn't need to do the end part of that. Oh, Wombats in Disguise, the slot machine in the storybook brawl. And this time I'm going to win, baby. Oh, 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 slay. Slay for me. Left, left, left. Slay for me. Slay my angel. Slay my darling. Ooh, Dratsakil is having a rough time. I gotta think about the trajectory of this build. Like, is it literally just Vainpire gets 3 4 every round? 3 4? That's not enough stats to live. Getting a bunch of minions from Ogre Princess is a fun way to do this, but we can't do it with this build. We need so much more support for it to actually get any damage. Thank you. My character's at plus three, plus three. I actually don't think that's better than any of the ones that I already have. Uh, fine, I'll just collect that for later then. Oh, I should've rolled. Eh, uh, nah, I'm fine with this. Would pay for a voice pack of Raps doing that for soundtrack. The... Oh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, Phantom of the Opera thing. I immediately forgot what I'd done. Ha! Huh? Slay number two? I didn't think it was gonna be possible. That doesn't save us. Lower the arms. I'm gonna start collecting blind mice too. Getting a treasure that's just way too powerful for the enemies too early is a nice way to overwhelm them. The mummies are having difficulty with their stats. They stay pretty potent. I would triple them. Okay, fine. I can sell you to take the chicken now. Sell the chicken to take the chance at the four. Once again, and yeah, it looks like we're just going to be rolling out this time. We're going to triple the Polywoggle so I can try and get a Gilded level 4 on the board. There's a few minions that it could be that would be huge for us. I I don't care about tripling the Good Witch of the North, though. I think these might actually need the buffs more. We're up against Geppetto, so their frontline is very rarely going to have a huge amount of health, so 28 damage is the same as 38 damage. Oh. Friendly Spirit double triggering that for plus 24. Oh, it's slow again! How? I have to take Merlin's hat over the fancy pants because it does give me a possible plan uh, if I triple. And if this finds Crystal Ball, I'm suddenly hat. Freaking hell. All right. We're hat ball players. It's time for hat ball gaming. Hands, leg, roots, and wings in the ride. You're safish out there, but safer inside. Uh, more money. It's 
take that and the genie's wish, I think. Breaking out the rest of that turn. If this finds the uh, uh, the fork, the twinning fork, uh, or even moon song, honestly, I probably then have to replace the bad moon. Again, we're not getting huge stats out of the bad moon anymore. Turn over turn, at least. Nice, no slay. Reasonable possibility of my polywoggle. Polywoggle. <laughs> Get him. And we get the three extra gold this round as well. Oh, yes. Love you. First minion to die each round getting four four is actually also pretty good. That might, like that is more than the bad moon provides to us right now. Deck of many things is another spell every round, though. I'll just take the deck of many things. Because I need to start casting spells. I took too long. Perfect. Don't need any of that. Thank you. Another cat. Don't need another treasure of that cost. Sell the blind mice, get the business familiar. I guess I'll take full glory here as well. Runestones. So runestones is nice to take before a deck of many things if you're then going to try and get uh, I'm going to roll for different spells I might be able to. Oh, hang on. Uh, what? I'm a slay build again? Huh? What? When did that happen? Uh, so that's now a uh, tripled Baba Yaga in the back line. We became so spells that we're slay now. It happens, I guess. Good to have the uh, free round here. Get a couple more slays out on the field, basically for free. Um, this could become useful. I don't want to turn everything good. I do want to have an evil minion to hit some of these buffs on when they need it. Ah, like this. Oh, mix a whistle. Uh, okay, mix a whistle the one that I care the least about. Oh, nice. Um, so you mix a whistle again. I would love to now. Oh my god, I would love to get a TLK to finish you off, make you a gilded level six that stays permanently. Mix a whistle again. Sure. Money. <laughs> We're dwarfs. It's time to be a dwarfs. Um, gain more statistics over there. Me neither, thank you. Ah, I fear we are reaching the end. A shame. Teal Kang, you would have been really nice. I'll take a level's worth of plus stats to my board. Seems like that could be useful. Uh, let's get another ranged minion in the back line as well. Get you to die slightly earlier. Actually, that's probably the better ordering of those. Because it doesn't have an innate slay trigger itself. <sighs> I mean, it got a slay trigger. Okay, all of that actually ended up resolving pretty optimally for us. They've got the Horn of Olympus with the backline of the Heartwood Elders. I love that build. Huge fan. Barely playable at all. <laughs> Incredible build. Can't do it. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, we take those still. They're cheap enough. Boy, he's being really stingy with the uh, castable spells here. So, but I thought we're on the same team. Evidently not right now. I feel threatened. Let's get more backline damage guaranteed here. And all of the ranges there in the backline. Actually, maybe that's what I want. Right, Spellweaver hopefully instantly kills something on their board. Get our range minions attacking at the very end as well. Ujul, thank you very much for the uh, Prime. Enjoy your remotes and chat, and welcome back to the Republic for the third month. <sighs> this is a hard forward end of the lobby, I think. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. They get first attack. They do get the slay. I respond with my own. Thank heck we didn't hit the uh, Wizard's Familiar there, which we weren't potent enough to be able to kill. God damn it! That's the only target it couldn't hit! Oh! Never mind, we're fine. We're fine. Good lord. Stealing that minion did make it a little spicy at the end, though. And now we're up against the top of the lobby where we are probably going to meet our doom. There's Whisper. Thank you very much for the uh, T1 subscription. Join our and chat. Welcome to the Republic. Can I please spells? Thank you. It's time. Well, now I wish I had it back. Don't. Ignore it. Ignore it. Don't don't comment on it. It's basically not even there. It didn't load in. They didn't give us a minion. Oh, good. That... Never punished. It's a whistle. Never punished! No punishes! Unfortunately, the, uh, like, if they have something that's, like, above 100 health in their front line, we do just lose. Oh! They didn't have that. Oh, no! Uh, they're gonna be ridiculously powerful next time I see them, though. Holy grail. It's really hard for me to reliably trigger a Jormungand, unfortunately. Without access to the... Lightning Dragon, the River Wish Mermaid, or the Grim Soul, all on four. Burst the corpse here. Hopefully, one of them knocks the other out. I almost feel like I should be collecting blind mice again. I say immediately seeing another blind mouse. <laughs> Oh, what is that? What is that? Aeon, when you cast a spell, your mages get plus two attack permanently. Cool. Damn it. 
I don't care about three cost pressures again. Uh. Oh, six from the Aeon? No, 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 no. But I do want Aeon to be able to slay. Okay, roll hit. No roll hit. Take. I'll kidnap. I'll kidnap him good. Are we slay or are we spell? It is impossible to tell. We are both. Aeon says we are both. Whenever you cast a spell, your mages get plus two attack permanently and on slay, all of your spells next round cost two less. Very good. Very good. Por que no estás? I'm sorry, but today we are the superior nuts. If Aeon survives, might be able to get a second slay here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we will. And for Vainpire as well. Wow. I mean, this was previously the the multi-triggering, so it's fine that it's not here. Uh, we'll sell you, buy you, sell you later. Um, nope. Uh, sure. Do I... Do... Do I keep it? Buff it? Love it? I don't understand what's happening. Let me attack. Let me attack. Well, we're going to have to kill them again because we don't do enough damage. All right, so that's no longer a good boy, which means I can now transform the copycat. We keep buffing what gets buffed. Hold these. Thank you. I don't know. That's that's not a play I should have made. Don't do what Donnie don't did. I just, it's the slay positioning that I don't like, but the rest of the board is so strong. How can I, why did I not, I almost left the 100 and, okay. Uh oh, that's really bad. There's got the slay and mine didn't. They're a spell hat ball build as well. Oh God, oh no, 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 no. Never mind, they're dead. 
GG. Out of here. That's that's pants, baby. That's what pants do. You zip up, you zip down. That's pants. Any questions? <laughs> Just TLK everything. I like you know it was it was definitely a, a lucky game in parts as well. But knowing the the way that pants plays and playing into those outs very consistently there is definitely shown up to be valuable. 